All right, what do you think people have a more negative view about, Amazon or ticks? No, oh, that's a toss up. Definitely ticks. ticks. Come on, ticks people by far. love the Amazon. Ticks by far. Amazon has never bitten me. But, but ticks do. They gorge on our blood, they transmit disease, Gross. and that sort of left us wondering, well, why are they here? Is there anything good about them? Because doesn't, every, doesn't everything supposed to have a reason? The circle of life? Isn't well, that sure. Really I don't believe that. But it seems that people, I don't it think everything has a better. reason. Some things just happen. Yes, it does maybe make us yeah. feel better. Yeah. It so, make me sleep at so night. So what's the well, deal? First of all, I think, do we have the song? This is a real song. Oh, I wasn't making it up. It is Brad Paisley. Brad Paisley? Yeah. It's a love song. No, this is it's not a very a love funny song. love song. That ran out of material. Well, think about how you check someone. For I, I am, and uh, uh, no, I don't actually. No. Moving on. Now you do. Yeah. <laughs> now you will. <laughs> uh, so, Heather, are there any? Is there any reason for ticks to, to so exist? So we found a woman who likes ticks. Uh, she is a tick researcher, so of okay. course she likes ticks. Wow. And so what she said is, if you look at tick saliva, think about this: when a tick bites you, you don't know it. If no. a mosquito bites you, you know it after a day or so. If, it, if a bee stings you, you know it. Mm -hmm. But ticks, they have antihistamine, they have anti um, inflammatory, they have stuff that helps clot your blood so that they can get the blood out of you easily without you ever knowing it. And so if you look at those components of tick spit, then people can research that and use that information to fight other diseases, to fight allergies, um, to fight genetic uh, hmm. Issues that they want to, uh, that they can use those components for. Do they eat anything or are they food for anything? Well, right, that, isn't that usually what happens? Right. Not really. So, fire ants eat them sometimes. Every so often, some birds will, will eat them, but they, hmm. they usually have to be pretty desperate to do that. Um, okay. So, they're not big um, sources of food. But think about this. You know, it, all in, the, in our ecosystem, you have the predator and you have the prey. Right, you have the owl that takes out the mouse. Sure. Mm -hmm. So a tick is almost it's like a predator. It can take out the weakest of the herd, and that's how. And that's good the, for the overall. It is because then the strong survive, and the strong pass on their genes, and then that, you know. This that is, this sounds gets, like it, this is a major stretch. It, <laughs> so you're it saying is, they don't it have is, a point? Here, it is. But it is a major people, stretch because I was yeah. really stretching to try and find but things. But people have this idea that helpful. everything has to have a purpose, yeah. and I think some. Uh, species are just survivors. Oh, and the yeah. tick is just, the tick is a survivor. It's going to outlive its purpose? Long. It's I don't, long, longer than we do. Cockroaches, survivors, yeah. why are they here? Does everything need to have a purpose? Maybe Some things just, their purpose is to survive, right? And yeah. so it's like a, it's a slightly well, like evolutionary a type deal. So there's that. Right? Got, see, there's a purpose. It inspired art. Sure. And the, the, art. Is, it, is it art? <laughs> Ticks have really evolved. I will say like the good question <laughs> emailers are very desperate for everything that we hate to have some reason. sort of purpose. Someone's so got to be an optimist. It. Right. It's okay for them just to just to hate them. I disagree. As they're a ticks. They're I awful. Disagree. Yes, oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. As a scientist, Here we kind. Go. <laughs>